Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in, see what we can find in your love situation. Hopefully I won't make this reading too long. All right, Sagittarius, we're starting off with devil energy. What's going on? Conflict, drama, problems in paradise? What's happening? Maybe you guys feel like you are in a toxic ass relationship and you just don't know, you don't know what the fuck to do. You're like, listen, I feel like this person has me on a string. They have me doing shit that they want me to do. But does this person really even love me? This person knows I'm a good person. This person's trying to play me like I'm fucking stupid. What's going on, Sagittarius? Mm, demonic devilish energy. I don't like that. But we're going to dive in and figure out what the fuck's going on. All right, spirit ready to talk. Look at this, two of swords. So Sagittarius, you guys are in your mind right now um, about what you should do about a situation that seems to be very toxic in love. All right. Maybe you guys have two different options. If you don't have two different options, maybe you're just thinking, should you stay or should you go? OK, it's been weighing on you. You don't know what to do. You don't like feeling lonely, but you love this person, but you don't like people playing with you at the same fucking time. So it's like, what the fuck do I do? I'm not sure. But um, this shit, I'm ready to get this shit out of my hair. Yep, this is definitely with somebody dealing in love. Somebody that you really feel like you do love them, but you don't know if they love you. You really don't know if they do love you, but you feel like sometimes you guys could be soulmates. Spirit, give me more information, Sagittarius in love. Yeah, so you're just in a hangman position because you're not really sure as to what to do. So maybe you guys are just riding the shit out as of right now, okay? You guys are just kind of sitting back, letting shit happen letting shit process you're not taking shit too seriously you're just kind of sitting back um and just chilling you don't you know they're not making any moves right now which spirit is saying that's very smart just stay in the position you're in until you get the enlightenment that you need until you get the answers that you need okay the truth is going to come to light eventually all right on what you need to do to move forward or whatever it may be but I'm going to tell you now, a lot of you guys feel like this is something that you need to walk away from because you feel like it's very toxic. All right. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. You should never stay into a relationship that is toxic or not serving you just because you don't want to feel alone or just because you're comfortable with the person. Yeah. So spirit is saying um, you're being enlightened. You guys are having epiphanies, downloads, messages coming from above on what you guys should do. A lot of you guys need to start meditating again. Um, if you have stopped meditating, Spirit is saying, yeah, that's something that you need to do so that we can give you the downloads and the answers that you guys need. All right. This could be heavily on your mind, though. Maybe you feel like this is a situation that's kind of like spiraling out of control. You don't really know what to do about the situation, but you just think it's getting too much for you. It's like it's too much involved. Um, maybe you feel like this path is leading nowhere. Like this is just going no fucking where. But before you make that move, Spirit is saying, just be patient. Okay, so Ace of Cups. So Spirit might be saying that there is a new opportunity in love, okay? There is a new opportunity in love. Not to say that it's not with this person or it is with this person. I have not gotten that confirmation yet. All Spirit is saying is that true love is yours, okay? True love, everybody deserves true love. You are not any different from other people out there that deserve true love okay so if this love doesn't work out guess what spirit is saying there's another love out there for you there's always going to be love for the sagittarius because sagittarius is love 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 to death all right so spirit is saying don't you worry just protect your heart okay protect your heart at all costs do not let people just kind of run over you and do whatever the fuck they want to do just because you love them okay you have a a big heart and a lot of love to give all right you have so much love to give that sometimes people will steal your fucking love okay now you got the magician card here so a lot of you guys have been manifesting a lot of positive things in your life okay this is also telling me that there's somebody that's doing some shit behind the scenes that you don't know about okay there might be some type of secret some lies um, somebody just trying to get away with some shit, okay? Now, um, 
like again i'm getting meditation you need to meditate all right and also be mindful of where you're spending your energy where you're putting your energy your time your effort your love just be mindful of that people aren't always who they say they are okay by the time you realize who the fuck they are sometimes it's too late all right this person may be kind of manifesting to keep you around. This person might be doing some type of black magic to keep you because they know that you're a star and you're supposed to be someone in this world. So this person might be kind of like holding you back to try to keep you or weigh you down. Or maybe this person feels like you belong to them. I'm not entirely sure. Let's move the fuck on. You are manifesting new love though. So by manifesting new love, you're going to have to just make a decision to walk away from this. Okay. If you do decide to walk away from this, just trust the path. Just know that spirit is guiding the path, like they're lighting your path to, so that you can know where you're going. All right. If you do decide to make that decision, some of you will end up walking away from this person, Sagittarius. I'm just being completely honest. This card came out, 10 of wands, something comes to a complete ending. But being that this is not a sword or a pinnacle, this is just a, this is just a thought at this point. So a lot of you are just thinking about walking away. You're thinking about just taking your shit, packing it up, hitting the fucking road and never looking back, just manifesting whatever the fuck you want in life, your happiness, everything, everything of that nature. Yeah. A lot of you guys are just thinking maybe it's time to just move on. Maybe it's time to just move forward, pack my shit, just trust that God going to take care of me and take me where I need to go. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of heavy energy, a lot of dark energy in this reading. This is a very toxic situation. I don't know what you see in the situation that makes you want to stay. Maybe the person that you're with is really fine or beautiful. Spirit is saying everything that looks good is not fucking good. Okay? So maybe this person's leading you towards conflict. You're trusting this person and they're not leading you down the right path. Okay? Maybe they're leading or guiding you this way when you should be going that way. I'm not sure. A lot of you guys kind of feel heartbroken in the situation. Does this person already fucking hurt you? Oh, this person that you're dealing with is just very immature with love. Okay? They don't know how to love. They don't know how to give love. You feel like a broken record having to always repeat yourself with this damn person about what you want. And this person's just not giving it to you. You feel like you'll get what you want out of the situation when the fucking pigs fly. That's how you feel. And then it's like... Some of y'all be having like outer body experiences, you know what I'm saying? Where like you can look at the situation, you see yourself and you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Like, why are you sitting around waiting for this shit? You know what I'm saying? You could be off doing something a lot better. But this is, this is Page of Cups. So yeah, this person, they're very immature with their love and the way that they love you. Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius, you guys could have been on like player energy in the past, but maybe you guys really decided that this was the person you wanted. And so you gave your heart to them. And now it's like, you're just, they're not treating it right. You know what I'm saying? They're taking advantage of your good heart. The way, the fact that you made a decision to change who you are, they're taking advantage of that. Spirit, give me a couple more, please. Sagittarius and love Sagittarius. All right, so you guys have been patient in the situation. You guys have spent a lot of time, energy, and effort. You guys have trusted this person. You guys have been open. You guys have had an open mind about the situation, okay? You try to be there for this person. You waited around multiple times for this person. This person might leave you hanging a lot. You might be waiting, just waiting and waiting and waiting all fucking all day for this damn person. It's very toxic. They're hot and they're cold. You know, they're in and they're out. It's like night and day with this damn person. But this person does not realize who you are. You're an angel in disguise and they're treating you like that. Spirit can see it too. Spirit sees this person doing you like that. Spirit is saying, listen, we, we know that you have been very patient. We know that you have been doing everything right in the situation, okay? We know that you've been through it. We know. We can see all that shit, all right? We know that you have been so focused on this person. Spirit is saying, maybe that's the problem. Maybe you're, you're, you're too focused on this damn person. They're all you think about. You're holding yourself back, or, or really this person's holding you back. I'm not sure. But let's see. 
All right, Spirit, give me some more information. Sag and love, Sagittarius and love. Sagittarius and love. Sagittarius and love. Sagittarius and love. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm not sure if um this person blocked you or you blocked this person, but some of you guys are thinking about just ending this shit and um abruptly ending it. Like where you make this person feel like everything's okay and then one day you just leave their ass and block them. And you know what I'm saying? They don't know what the fuck then happened. That's what you guys are thinking about. That's the type of energy you guys are on right now. You might feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very cold hearted. Somebody who doesn't have any fucking emotions or somebody that doesn't care about other people. They sit on their throne and look down on everybody and act like they're fucking better than everybody else. You could be dealing with somebody like that. You could be. But you've been patient with this, this nasty-ass individual, okay? This nasty-ass fucking attitude person. You've been patient with them. Yep, you've been patient, okay? Sorry, I keep putting it over there. I'm used to my camera being on this side. But you've been patient. You put in a lot of, like I said, time, energy, and effort. A lot of love, okay? You have been watching and trying to nurture this relationship, Okay, maybe you feel like this, maybe this person that you're dealing with is younger than you. So you feel like you have to kind of, you know, be the guiding light here. Um, But you do feel like you put in a lot and you don't really think you're getting back what, you know, you put into it. It's like, what the fuck? But what you don't understand is that the seeds that you have planted is giving you a very strong and solid foundation. Yeah, the tree that's now growing may look very small. Like, oh, this is all I'm getting out of everything I put in. The Spirit is saying, no matter what the fuck happens, you put that work in. Okay? No matter if you put it into that relationship, this relationship, just the fact that you put it out there in the in, out there in the universe, period, you planted those seeds. And so whatever the fuck you planted, it's going to grow. And it's going to grow big and strong. So just trust the process, okay? Does not matter what the fuck this this toxic person is on it doesn't it doesn't really matter yeah because look you're gonna end up being the damn queen of pentacles anyways all that shit that's growing now you're looking at it like oh this is nothing look at what that shit ends up being that shit ends up growing into a whole fucking forest a whole forest both of these people have their eyes closed both of these people are at peace okay you actually, Sagittarius, you're at peace right now. You're just, you're dealing with a toxic person who may be doing some type of like black magic on you to keep you there, to keep you stuck, to keep you with them. All right. But what you planted, you're going to, you're going to reap what you sow completely for sure. No doubt about it. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever that you are you're going to reap what you sow. Yeah, you're going to have a fucking victory. You're going to be fucking fine. Like you're going to shine. All this hard work and shit like that. Listen, it's a cycle. Once that cycle has has come to a complete full ending, you're going to win. You're going to shine. You're going to be recognized for your efforts. This shit is serious. Like all this work that you're putting in, in the past, okay? If you see this person's looking towards the past, everything you did in the past, it's going to take cycle. And by the time your fucking cycle is ending, you're going to have harvest and you're going to celebrate and you're going to be recognized for all your hard work. So you don't have to worry about it. You, you're going to be fine. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Yeah, see, victory, okay? You're going to be able to celebrate and be happy, all right? these The things that are happening in your life right now are going to be the reason why you're going to appreciate your future so much. So Spirit is saying, actually, appreciate your life as it is right now, okay? Don't just say, oh, everything is bad. Oh, I don't know, I need to get out of, I need to get out of the situation. You need to appreciate it because your life could be completely different, you know, very soon. Your life is going to be very happy and victorious and just celebrations all around, unions, you know, 
celebrating with friends. Spirit is saying, just wait for more information. It's coming. You're going you're to have downloads coming to you. This is not leading you nowhere. It's, it's not. Now, the relationship, I, I haven't really gotten too much information, but I'm just telling you about your person. That you, and this is shit you already know, but some of y'all just need that little um, that little bump like, oh, it's going to be all right, no matter what the fuck you decide to do, because I know y'all love this person. Y'all got a lot of fire and, and um, passion in your heart for this person. Yeah, you love this person to death. You do. <laughs> you love them. But if you guys can look at this picture, this is a lot of fire and passion. And it's like, you see how this woman's holding on to his dreads? Like, she will never let him go, no matter what the fuck. Like, she's holding on to his dreads and her hair is going up around his head. It's like, she has him in a trap. Like, you're not going any fucking where. I don't give a damn. This is the number of love, the number six. They're like, nah, you ain't going nowhere. And that is a Gemini card, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. I got tempered here, so you could be dealing with another Sagittarius. All right? There is no telling. Now, with the devil energy, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Those are the signs I'm seeing as of right now. You got ten of pentacles. See, this person that you're with, Sagittarius, this person... They want to marry you and have kids and be with you forever. You want the same thing if this is not their energy, okay? This is what you want because you may feel like this is somebody that you love, but you don't understand why it's so fucking toxic, okay? You just want to be happy. You just want to combine ideas and just grow something, you know, have a solid foundation, somebody that you can work with and, you know, actually you know, put, you know, build businesses with and shit like that. That's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting a 10 of Pentacles lifestyle with someone very special. I'm not sure if this is person you're with or not. Spirit has not told me. Yeah. See, look at this. Nine of Cups came out, but then you also got the Hermit too. So what I'm basically getting with this Nine of Cups is that you wish fulfillment. Everything you want is coming true. Okay, everything you've wished upon a star, Spirit said they've been listening to what you want. You see that treasure chest right there? Spirit says, we've been listening. We know what you want. And every time you ask, we put it in that box. And guess what? It could be nine days. It could be nine weeks. It could be nine months. But sometime this year, you're going to get a complete and utterly wish fulfillment. You're going to be happy. All your cups are going to be filled except maybe love. Okay? Except maybe for love, but you're going to be happy all the way else around. All right. You're going to go into Herman mode. You're going to be focused on self. You're going to be going through an enlightenment period. All right. A spiritual awakening is what I'm getting. But this is all in divine timing. Like it's all part of the plan. Uh oh. Spirit, give me more information, please. Spirit, Sagittarius in love, Sagittarius in love, Sagittarius in love. Thank you. All right, yeah. So once you guys start going in that hermit mode, like I said, you're gonna go through an enlightenment period. You're gonna go through a period where you learn a lot about yourself. Okay, not learning only about others, but learning a lot about yourself, getting a lot of new ideas. You guys will be starting a lot of businesses. If you're not starting them, then they are prospering. Okay, then you're going to feel like you have a lot of ideas coming in to where you can't even keep up with the amount of shit that you're coming up with. Like Spirit is saying that you don't know where you're going. You don't know where this path is leading you. But guess what? You're trusting the process. And that's why you're you're unfazed. Because you're just trusting that everything is going to be fine. You're using your wisdom, your knowledge to move forward. All right? You're a very smart individual already. Like you're very smart. Yep, you're very, very, very smart. Yep, you're an emperor. Sagittarius, you're stable as fuck. You got it going the fuck on. You're a good dresser. You got your head on your shoulders. You you plan for your future. Like, you're not just somebody who just sit around and just, oh, we'll just live day by day. Nah, you planning for the fucking future with this car right here. You know what you want. You're the type of person that if you play games, guess what? You're going to win, bitch. You playing to win. 
There ain't no motherfucking, oh, you taking a loss. No. Checkmate, bitch. If I got to play with you, it's going to be checkmate. Now, with the Emperor card coming out, you could be dealing with an Aries. Who knows? And I did also have the Hermit. So, with the Hermit, you could be dealing with a Virgo. So, we got a couple of different signs coming out now. So, Gemini, Virgo, Aries. Let's just say we had Temperance. So, that could be another Sagittarius. The Magician, but that doesn't... No, no, I'm sorry. The Magician doesn't have a sign to it. I'm tripping. Knight of Pentacles. Yep, yep, yep. See, a lot of you guys are tired of losing money. You're tired of losing shit. You're tired of wasting time. You're tired of wasting valuable shit that you've worked hard to build. You know what I'm saying? It's like wherever you're going, you're not ever going to get back to a place of poverty or feeling like you're you don't have it. You're going to you're stable. You're going to be stable regardless. Regardless. I'm also seeing that um Someone else who walked away from you or somebody else who is, somebody's losing some type of money. Somebody's losing money and they're losing it fast. Okay. They're losing that shit fast. That's what I'm seeing. You might be watching this person lose everything that they fucking have by walking away from you. Okay, is what I'm kind of getting. So if in the end, this toxic person does walk away from you, Spirit is saying they're going to lose a lot of money by doing that. So you need to let them go ahead and go. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is, this is a toxic person. This is somebody who you argue with a lot. Okay, I know this person may be smiling, but this is like a... What do you call it? This is like... um. An energy of somebody who is trying to be like sneaky type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to win at all costs. Get the last fucking word. All type of shit. Okay? Always got something that they up their fucking sleeve. All right. Now this is also somebody that you do have fun with. You guys have fun. But when it's fun, it's fun. And when it's bad, it's really fucking bad. It's really bad. There's a lot of fire and drama and, 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 you know, passion. Sometimes that's not good in a relationship. Where's the fucking love? All the damn passion. Where's the love, bitch? So I'm going to let you know this right now, um, Sagittarius. This person feels like you are their world. You're their everything. They might not know how to treat you, but this person thinks that you're their everything. They don't want to let you go. They love you to death. You may feel the same way about this person, but there is a cycle coming to um, a close. So I'm not sure what that cycle is. Only, you know, you got to take it how it resonates, but there is a, some type of cycle coming to an ending. That world card. Also, Sagittarius, you are protected. Okay. You're very protected by the universe. Also, you have your finances are protected too. You're gonna be fine in money. If you if you've been worried about that, you're you're gonna be very stable. All right. Right now, you might not be where you want to be as far as your money goes, but you are gonna have a victory, and that's gonna come from you working hard, putting in all that hard work. You're going to basically have like overnight success. It's gonna be very fast success, like wish fulfillment type shit like something you couldn't even have thought that you could have wished for is going to come towards you oh my god the sun card i'm trying to tell you you guys are going to be shocked at the success when it comes in you're not going to fucking believe it you're going to be like damn i feel like i fucking made it for real like spirit is saying you're going to be all right like you're protected you're fine you're going to be okay Look, Spirit says, if you have to walk away from this, you're going to be fine. You're going to be protected. Okay? There's going to be a new love entering your life no matter what because you deserve love. Because you are a very strong individual. If you do have to walk away, it's because you're, you're strong. You found your strength to walk away. Spirit is saying some of you need to find that strength to walk away. Because this is a toxic person that's not going to fucking change. You keep putting in your time, your energy, and your effort to this motherfucker. Well, what do you expect? 
You're putting your time, energy, and effort into a toxic person who does not know how to love you. They're very immature with their love. You sit around, you wait, you deal with their fucking attitude, their fucking drama, their bullshit. What Spirit's saying, well, guess what? Because you didn't retaliate and you found your strength and you walked away, we're going to give you success. We're going to give you nothing but good karma. We're going to give you a true love. This other person can sit back and watch you, you know, have the life that you want. And when they do that, guess what? They're going to be fucking heartbroken to see you with somebody else. If you find strength to walk away and you get with a new person, that's going to kill this past toxic ass person. They ain't going to be able to fucking sleep at night. Look at this bitch. She is going to be completely and utterly heartbroken. You know how I know this is a toxic bitch? Just because look at the background. This is somebody who is just not in a good place. This person may have had their heart broken multiple times, so they don't know how to love other people. All they know is that they love you because of who you are. You're the motherfucking person who is very in tune with self. You love yourself. You know who you are. You don't let everybody in. Okay? You're very spiritual. Although you may also believe in God. This person knows that you are very favored. Okay? You're very blessed. Okay? They may be trying to pop that damn bubble that you're in because of jealousy. All right? This person is trying to poke at you. All right? Because they see that you... You're trying to connect so that you can, you know, finish out your life's purpose. And this person's trying to distract you, poke at you, stop you from doing what the fuck you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You may have actually taught this person a lot and they utilize what you taught them to basically try to level up on you and like, you know what I'm saying? But it's not working. This person... They still know who you are because you taught them all the stuff. So they're like really in the back of their head. They're thinking that you're going to outdo them and outgrow them. They're trying to outgrow you first. You know what I'm saying? But no. No. If it's not true love, like why are you trying? Why is this a competition? This doesn't have to be a competition. If we love each other, we should be trying to help each other get there. Like why are you trying to fucking beat me to the fucking, you know what I'm saying? I, that's just, that's crazy to me. But spirit is saying that the wheel is going to turn in your favor. It doesn't matter. Nobody is you. No matter if they take your ideas, no matter if they fucking do what the fuck you're doing, nobody is you, okay? Whatever you continue to put out there, as long as it's positive, it's going to come back to you and it's going to be positive, all right? Wheel of fortune is turning. We've been through many a wheels already. Shit. <clears throat> You'll be fine. You're going to be happy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys have been thinking about just leaving, traveling the world, doing things you never fucking did before, trying to make a decision of what to do. You went from two of swords to two of wands. So you know that this is very conflicted. It's on your mind. You know, you can't stop thinking about what you should do, but it's just a thought right now. It's not anything you're taking action on. Okay. The spirit is saying there is a bright, sunny future out there. Okay. You can watch it from the window. You can window shop on your future or you can go out there and you can get it. It's up to you. But the world is waiting. Whatever you want to do. If you want to continue to stay back with this person, you can do that too. You got free will. You do have free will. But spirit is um, warning you that this is a, a toxic person. It is. Yep, it's, it's a toxic person that wants to work with you because they know how much of a hard worker you are, okay? They know how much of a hustler's mentality that you have. This person wants to work with you. This person could have kids that they want you to take care of, okay? It could be vice versa. I don't know. <laughs> but this person loves the fact that you, you may be like a father figure, you may be like a mother figure. That they love how nurturing and caring you are. People love to take advantage of good-hearted people. I'm trying to tell you. So this person could be doing that. I'm not entirely sure. But this person definitely um, loves your qualities. I will say that. They love your qualities. Yeah, and This also could be somebody that you've known for a while. Somebody from the past. You could have known them over six years. I'm really not sure. But this person feels like you're their best friend. Or you could feel like this person is your best friend. And you don't want to lose them because they're your best friend. Okay, some of you guys could have a dog. I'm not entirely sure, but um, 
And it doesn't have to be somebody from your past. Spirit is just saying, you know, maybe in six days, six weeks, six months, you know, you're going to end up, you know, on your own. But that's okay because spirit has you. You're being guided. Your spirit, um, I'm sorry, your dogs could also, or any animal, it doesn't have to be a dog, but your, your animals could also be a huge comfort for you during that time. Okay, is what spirit is saying. Let's see here. All right, give me one more Sagittarius and love. All right, so we got five of swords energy. All right, so what I'm really getting with this is that, you know, this is really weighing heavily on your mind of what you should do. Okay, but I feel like once you actually decide that you would like to leave this person and you don't want to fight, argue, and do all this shit with them anymore, and you leave them behind, that's when they're really going to be feeling like, why? Why are you turning your back on me? You know, don't leave me. You can't, how could you do this? Da -da -da -da. All you hear is them hollering from the back, hey, don't leave, where are you going now? And you're just like, I'm tired of this shit. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm over it. I'm good. Like, why is there so much drama all the time? God damn, you make my head hurt. And that's not that's not good, you know. Let me get let me get my TV series deck for this shit because this shit got good. All right, spirit, tell me what this devil card is about, please. Clarify this devil card for our Sagittarius. Is thirty minutes in already? Damn. What's this devil card, spirit? What is this devil card? What's the devil card? Hmm. See, okay, so this devil, this demonic person, I'm sorry, not this devil. This person that you're dealing with that's toxic. There's been a lot of third-party situations. Now, this doesn't have to be deal with somebody that they're fucking or whatever on the side. It could just be third parties, period. It could be kids. It could be other people in the fucking mix, like friends or whatever the fuck. But this person deals with a lot of extracurricular activities, a lot of extra shit. Maybe they're not always honest about what they're doing, okay? But this person's not too too smart with the way that they do shit when it involves third parties maybe you might have caught this person talking to other people i'm not entirely sure but that's the toxicity that i'm getting is that you've had to deal with third party situations with this person maybe not once not twice maybe three times shit i don't know all right spirit i want to know about hmm Oh, tell me about this um this Knight of Pentacles. What's up with the Knight of Pentacles? Yep, this is like when you when you're guarded, or let's just say they're guarded and they end up walking away. I'm telling you guys, they're gonna end up losing a lot of fucking money. This person doesn't want to listen. This is a very stubborn person, too. It's like they never want to fucking listen to anyone else. They think they know every fucking thing. Yep, it's like this person want to have their cake and eat it, too. And when they do that, they're going to end up being fucking alone. They're going to end up lonely. They think they know what the fuck they're doing and where they're going. You just wait. That damn family room is empty as a motherfucker. And all they're going to have is fucking memories and pictures of you once they fucking realize they, they fucked up. You've been so patient with this person. You've been waiting around, waiting for this person to get their fucking act together. And guess what? As a Sagittarius, as a person who used to be a player and do what the fuck they want to do, you waiting on somebody? Uh, that shit don't always happen. So... You know, I'm very proud of you, Sagittarius, for, for you know, standing your ground and, and being loyal and actually wanting to try to work on some shit. I'm sorry that this is a reminder of why you don't do this type of shit and why you play motherfuckers. I understand. Yeah, it's like you might have even found some type of evidence on this person. You might have even found out that this person was doing shit. You might have went through their phone. You might have gotten detective fucking mode on this bitch or this motherfucker. Okay. To find out what's really going on behind the scenes. And now that you probably have found out some shit. You're like, this is the last and final fucking straw. I'm not doing this shit with you no more. 
You always hiding shit. You got skeletons in the fucking closet. Guess what? Why do I got to dissect shit? Why do I got to go into detective mode to find out the truth when I want to know some shit? Why? Why? You getting all these damn threes. Three of pentacles. Three of cups. Three of pentacles there. Yeah, this is a person who's who's been dealing with other people. Spreading their love around. You know what I'm saying? When spirit is saying that cup of love was supposed to be only for one person. And that's for you. This person, this person didn't want to do that. So spirit is saying you might just be manifesting a completely new love. All right. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Yep, this person, they're going to be very angry. They're going to feel left out in the fucking cold when you decide to, to leave them behind. Okay? Every man for their motherfucking self. Okay? This person's lucky that you ain't had to knock them over their fucking head and drag them somewhere and leave their motherfucking body because that's the type of person. You don't like being fucked with. You don't like being tried and shit, okay? This person's fucking trying your ass. You don't, before you have to hurt this motherfucking person, you're going to walk away. And when you walk away, you're going to feel like, I'm sorry, when you walk away, they're going to feel like they're left out in the cold. You know, I can't believe you did this to me. No, don't play that victim mentality now. Shit, ain't nobody doing shit to you. Yeah, you, you, you moving forward, like, you're transitioning. You feel like this is kind of somewhat like a controlling situation. Mm-hmm. Yep. You've been way too patient. You feel like there's a bomb about to go off. You feel like if you do not get out of the situation or if you don't speak how you really feel, because maybe this person doesn't ever let you say how you really feel or get your point across, but you feel like there's a bomb getting ready to fucking erupt. If you don't move the fuck on from this. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Let's see. All right, Sagittarius in love, Sagittarius in love. Yep, see y'all? Mm, it looks like y'all y'all gonna probably end up putting it uh, dead in this situation. I'm, I'm just being completely honest. Some of y'all might need to take rest to kind of, you know, think about what it is that you want to do. But what I am seeing that is, you, is if you do end up deciding to put it into the situation and dead the situation, this person is going to grieve you very badly as if you've like passed away. Because that's how that's how this person actually and truly feels about you. But they're not actually saying that or putting action to that. And the reason being is because you're such a nice person, Sagittarius. You're such a nice person. A lot of this shit is self-inflicted. Okay? It's self-inflicted pain. It's you realizing that something isn't right in the situation, but you're still riding it out. You're still staying within the situation. You're still putting on your blindfold and acting like you don't see shit. That spirit is trying to make clear to you. You're acting like you're in your, basically you're in your own self prison. All right. That's exactly what this is in your mind. It's a self prison. Spirit is saying you need to take some time. Maybe you need to listen to some music or something like that. You guys need to get back to your skill, your craft. You need to get back to what it is that you love. Some of y'all are into music. Spirit is saying you need to get back in the studio. You need to get back to writing songs. Get back to pouring your emotions out that way. Because you can't always vent by talking to people. You can't always get the answers you need by talking to people. Sometimes you just have to write that shit down and let it out of your heart. Don't die with that shit in your heart. Let it out however the fuck you need to. Shit, if you gotta go write a song about this bitch, go do it. Shit, whatever the fuck you gotta do. Because if you stay within this shit, y'all both going to end up hurt, okay? And it's going to probably be bad. It's probably not going to be, you know, just a, oh, a slight concussion. Motherfucker is bleeding from his head profusely, okay? So by you trying to give your cup to this person, look, it's hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself by trying to love this person. Do you guys see this? You are hurt. You're not even tending to your own self. You're just worried about the love you're giving to this fucking person. Come on now, Sag. 
has to be more careful. All right, Spirit, give me give me a card or two, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up on Sagittarius. Sag in love, Sag in love. Sag in love, Sag in love. Come on, give me two more cards. Sagittarius in love. Mm-hmm. Spirit says you know better. Spirit said you know. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to do about this past person. Spirit saying you ain't got to be no witch to be in tune to know what you need to do. If you need to fly the fuck away from that motherfucker, then you need to do it. You need to you need to watch out for the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. Use them bitches as a cape if you have to to help you fly the fuck away. Okay? Don't stay trapped in a situation just because. Don't do that. A lot of y'all could be smoking a lot of weed. You could be doing drugs to kind of like cope with the pain or whatever it is that you're going through. You could be drinking a lot more, okay? Addictions. So addictions could be what's what's um another factor here in the relationship. Yep, see, look at that. Ace of Cups. Spirit is saying, you know what you need to do. Okay? You know what you need to do. If you got to write this person a letter, an email, whatever the fuck it might be, shit, you want to do it. You're going to have to do it in order to move on to a new, fresh love. It's like, this person has too fucking much of a record, Okay? And I'm not saying that in the legal matters. This person has a fucking reputation. Look at that. The papers are stacking to the fucking roof. This person has too much bullshit and drama. Too many issues going on. Okay? And there's proof. There's proof now. The proof has been already shown to you. You just now are acting like you have a fucking blindfold on and you don't want to fucking see the truth. Okay? Spirit coming in with that fucking letter. This is your letter, letter of approval to move the fuck on. Move the fuck on to true love. Okay? Because this love right here might be getting you into too much fucking trouble. Okay? Y'all might not be on the same fucking side. You might be working the defense. They might be working the prosecution. You never fucking know. Shit. This is not... I'm not to say that this isn't true love, but this love is a toxic love that gets you into trouble. Is what Spirit is saying. Okay? So, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you today. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Let me know if this resonated because this is kind of heavy and I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, Sagittarius. But listen, spirit always know what they're doing. When somebody is doing you wrong and you are continuing to do right, you should be happy. Spirit is building you something that you will be so happy to receive. And it's called karma. Good karma. Okay? So, stop giving all your fucking love, time, energy, effort to this bullshitting fucking person. You have got walking away in this in this reading a couple of times. So spirit is saying that might be the path for some of you. And if some of you decide to walk away, you know, it, it might be the best thing you've ever had because right after you walk away from this person, you're going to have major success. Spirit is saying they've been holding back many of your blessings because the person you're dealing with is not deserving of your blessings. So it's you need to choose. Do you want this person more than you want to succeed? Okay, because Spirit is saying they haven't treated you right. So they cannot succeed with you. If they do succeed with you, it'll be like working nine times harder than it would if you were just working alone. I'm just letting you know that right fucking now. All right, y'all. I enjoyed this reading. I'm sorry, y'all. I couldn't make this nice and sweet for y'all, but I don't sugarcoat shit for views and all that other shit. You either going to take it as it resonates or not, you know? So I will see you guys later, okay? You guys be safe. See you on the next one. Bye.